what's up everybody I wanted to make a video talking about the future of Genshin and where the future is looking like what the what what's gonna happen next and my feelings and what I've heard you know going around and some speculation on Inazuma and how things are gonna play out there if you can like comment subscribe it'll very, be much appreciated um and let's get into it so right now we're in 1.6 and I would say this patch right now has been really good and if you were to ask me um, my feelings on it um I've said I think I think I've made a video about it but 1.6 right now for me is fantastic I love it I'm enjoying it it's really fun and right now and I think there is no really like bad about 1.6 but I would be lying if I said I'm not more excited for the future in the patch after 1.6 whether that's Inazuma or something else but right now what Genshin is looking like and what we're looking like is we're gonna be getting Inazuma really soon and that's not like you know confirmed or anything or nothing like that that's just from what we can see we're about to get a story quest about Inazuma about going to Inazuma we're about to get a character from Inazuma Kazuha and they have shown Ayaka Yoimiya, Sayu, and multiple other characters who are from Inazuma from what we can see in their art. So, it wouldn't be crazy to say Inazuma would be the next patch. Like, to think that, that's not crazy, right? And, so, when I sit here and process all this, I keep seeing all of my YouTube feed, blah, 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 banner, blah, 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 this banner, Yoimiya's banner coming first, or this, this banner's coming first, none of it's confirmed, we don't know, right, but having all this pop up, and all this talk about Inazuma has got me really thinking about what can really happen with Inazuma, and why is everyone so excited, I want to talk about that aspect as well, um, so let's start, let's just be real, Genshin, and this island archipelago showed us, Along with Dragon Spawn, Genshin at the core of it is an exploration game. At the core of Genshin, the funnest part of Genshin, I think that everyone will say, flat out and simple, is exploring. Everyone likes exploring. Don't get me wrong, fighting, you know, these big bosses in combat can be fun, but at the end of the day, building your characters and exploring and going around the open world is the funnest part of Genshin. And... I think with a new region, especially with the aesthetic of Japanese culture, people are going to lap it up. People are just going to love it. And Genshin already has its anime look to it already. But then when you add in Japanese culture, katanas, and things like that, you know, like, people who eat that shit up and people who love it are gonna love it just like me and anime pe people who like anime and just Japanese culture in general and have an admiration for it are just gonna love Inazuma and if you like Electro like me <laughs> it's probably gonna be getting I, this is not confirmed as well I'm this is just kind of, you can call this speculation it's probably going to be getting buffed, and we're probably going to get m multiple new characters, weapons. So, the thing about Inazuma is, with this new region, the sky is the limit. We don't know what we're going to get, but at the same time, it's that anticipation, it's that feeling that there's a lot on the horizon. And you don't have to be, sm like, super, you know, smart to, con to tell that... Within the special programs and the way content has been dropping within 1.5 and 6, they're, they're briefing us for something coming. And that thing that's coming doesn't look like to be the chasm or some new area added to Leeway or Mondstadt. That looks like Leeway. Two times, two special programs back to back, they've showed us Leeway concepts. And now they even showed us one where Ayako was talking and some other character was talking. Not at the same time, but that was the one beforehand. But point is, and point being, I think honestly, 
Leeway, um, not Leeway, um, sorry. Inazuma is gonna be a different breed patch. And I think, honestly, like, we could sit here and speculate who's gonna come first, who's gonna be a what banner. But at the end of the day, everything that's about to come, the five stars, the characters, the weapons, the new region, all of it, I think no matter what group of player you fall into, Inazuma is going to be the patch that's going to get everyone back into the game. And it's going to be the patch, I think, that might save Genshin. And honestly, with me thinking about it and me processing all this and looking at the characters and listening to some, let's say, you know, speculation and... You know, some people's thoughts on the interwebs and the Twitter and internet. It's clear that, honestly, there is going to be a lot. And there's going to be some hard choices for everyone to make. And honestly, I've been thinking about it. And something I'm planning on doing is just going for Ayaka. And I'm going to go for her. You have her, Yoimiya, and Kazuha. So it's like... Those are the characters we know so far that's probably going to be coming soon. And from that, I need to just choose Ayaka straight for this self -wall. She's going to be cool. And I can't wait for that. But honestly, what are you excited for about Inazuma? Like, I want to ask you if you've made it to this point. What are you excited about Inazuma? Are you excited for more bosses like Magu Kenki? Are you excited for new characters and the Electro Archon? Are you excited for, who knows, more weapons to collect, more things to explore, more puzzles, and more fun areas to do? For me, I'm a player who likes a lot of things. I like bosses, I like combat, I like characters, and I love exploration and puzzles. For me, I'm going to eat it all up, and I'm going to be making so much content on it, and I cannot wait to experience the work that Mihoyo has put in this. But honestly, if you're someone who right now who's just struggling with Genshin, I would say take a break and come back when Inazuma comes out. Because Inazuma is definitely going to be the patch that's going to revitalize the game, I think. Um, I'm excited for Inazuma. And I can't wait. But like, comment, subscribe, all that's much appreciated. Um, yeah, that's in the video. See ya. Bye. Peace out.